Good evening, everybody. It's November the 29th, 2021. Still fighting this battle with Stillwater Public Schools against Principal Kane Mock. Principal just slammed my daughter, chest to chest slammed my daughter on the ground, hard tile floor after responding to a verbal altercation and walking her to through the hallway as students screamed racial slurs, called her bitch out of her name. Um, my whole intention from the beginning was to get this problem spoken about, talked about out in the public, away from Payne County where it can be heard, where we live in Payne County. Uh, and I've been receiving a lot of negative comments from people that say I'm doing all kinds of things that I don't even understand what they are, click baiting, race bait, clicking some, something like that. I have no idea what it is because that ain't what I'm doing. I'm posting all my videos from now on on YouTube because they're easier to post. Do not subscribe. Just look up my name, Robert West, and watch the videos. Like it if you want. Leave me a comment. Let me know you got our back. But this is my daughter, Heaven Xavier West. If you look closely, come here, Evan. America, this is my daughter. There was a gentleman in one of the comments. I've got to say something about this particular comment. This is how rude these people are out here, America. He said, Mr. West, are you sure the principal isn't your daughter's father? Are you sure your wife didn't cheat on you 16 years ago? I'm sure, okay? I'm very sure. Uh... We're not going to break our race down to you. We're not going to let you know how much we, we're cut, where our blood bloodline is cut. Because that's that's irrelevant. The problem is Principal Kane Mock chose the wrong way to retain, restrain a 14-year-old, 115-pound little girl. Tell them what happened to you, Heaven. So as I've seen my father's videos are getting views in nasty comments i want to come on here and kind of tell y'all what happened myself because y'all are taking it too far with the disrespect and the racism stuff my dad's not being racist it all started because principal k mock got into a conflict with me and the little boy for calling me a bitch because i asked why white people wanted to be like black people nowadays when they used to hate us back in the day and that's when i got called out of my name and principal k mock He's like 250 pounds easily, 6'3", six, 6'4", six, and he chest to chest tackled me. <coughs> it was not because I was black. It's not because I'm white. It's because, honestly, I don't know what it's because of, because no one knows but him. But the nasty comments are going to have to stop because my father's not being racist. He's trying to let y'all know how still water is. I've been going through this since about 2019, the end of 2019 when I was in sixth grade. Anytime I go to t tell the principals anything, they always told me to go mind my business, do me, calm down and go back to class. I did that. And anytime I defended myself, I always got suspended and I always got the consequence. No what one the, else. What were the fights about it? And the fights about the middle school were because I was getting called a bitch. I was getting told I wasn't black. I was getting told I was white. I needed to stay white. And I don't take that easily. I know I'm mixed. And everyone else needs to know I'm mixed if they call me white. Call and then my father, I asked him to withdraw me. I got withdrawn out from public school. And I went into Epic because the racism and the... The disrespectful boys are just, it's just too much for me. And I'm the type of person, when you disrespect me, I'm going to give you something because you disrespected me. It's nothing personal. And when all that happened, like, I always got the consequence for it. No one else got the consequence. And it's just over and over. I've been in virtual school for, like, three years, ongoing three years now. I'm trying to generally get back into regular school but it's not working too well because of the teachers and the administration it's not too much the kids anymore it's the teachers and the administration it's and it's not me i can tell it's not me because i can control my anger to a certain extent until you make me mad that's so the disrespectful comments to my father are gonna have to stop a little because He's not being racist towards anyone. Saying a white guy tackled me is just, 
his skin tone is white. My skin tone is white, but everyone knows I'm mixed. This is my father. I am her father. And everyone knows that. And I'm going to tell you guys something else. The kids that have started all this crap, we're not from Stillwater, see, we're outsiders. And the kids that started all this crap originally ran my daughter, Nevea away from the school because she was lesbian. Um, the day my daughter Heaven started the school, the same girls that were trying to jump her sister tried to jump Heaven, and Heaven wasn't having it. It went a total different way with Heaven. Um, same kids that were in the middle school that she ducked out on back then to try to stay out of trouble are the same kids 